I just turned random articles and YouTube videos into an incredible original newsletter. I also made a YouTube video script in minutes that's great with zero effort. I'm going to show you how I go from idea to finished in just a few minutes, all within one tool. No copying between tools, no switching apps, no lost context. If you're tired of bouncing between Notebook LM, Notion, Claude, and just any other app, just to create one thing, you need to see this. This is Umind. It combines research, AI chat, and content creation into one place. If you like Notebook LM, you'll love Umind because it does what Notebook LM does but it also adds key features from tools like Notion to take things to an entirely new level. In this video, I'm going to show you three things. First, I'll give you a quick tour of the interface so you understand how it's organized. Then I'll show you why you'd use this instead of Notebook LM because the difference actually matters for creators. And finally, here's the big one. I'm going to create two complete projects from scratch so you can see the full workflow in action. That last part is crucial. Keep watching because I'm literally going to go from zero to finish newsletter and zero to complete video script all inside Umind so you can see exactly what this tool can do. First, let me show you the interface. So this is your home dashboard in Umind. It's clean and simple. You have a feed of your recent projects and a sidebar to access them as well. You can start from scratch or you can have the Umind agent find the sources for you. Once we click into a board, this is what we see. Your saved materials on the left, content in the middle, AI chat on the right. Everything you save lives in boards like these. These are basically self-contained workspaces similar to Notebook LM. So if I'm working on a newsletter for my community, that's one board. If I'm researching a video script about productivity, that's another board. Everything stays organized and nothing bleeds into other projects. They also have a Chrome extension for capture from anywhere on the internet. You just click the extension and it's saved to whatever board you want. Maybe you're watching a YouTube video. They have a great integration there. So you just click and it's saved to your workspace with the full transcript. And the best part is inside here, you get access to multiple AI models, ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, and more all in one place. I'll show you why that matters in a minute, but the short version is, different models are better at different things and having them all available without switching tools is huge. Only using one is actually hurting you. Now, features don't matter if the workflow sucks, so I'll show you how amazing it is in a minute, but first let me cover how this actually works in practice, starting with a quick Notebook LM comparison because I know what you're thinking, isn't this just Notebook LM? No. Notebook LM is incredible for research and analysis. I'm not taking anything away from that. It's genuinely great at what it does. I've covered it a few times on this channel, and I know people love it for deep research work. But one of Notebook LM's big problems is that it's read only. You can't edit what it generates. The AI gives you outputs, and then you're stuck with them. If you want to refine something, you have to ask again and again and hope it gets closer to what you want. It's like looking at your work through a window or something. You can see it, but you can't touch it. It's also locked to Gemini, so you get one AI perspective, one writing style, one way of thinking about your content. Umind takes a completely different approach. First, everything the AI generates, you can edit like a document. The AI writes something and it appears in this editor where you can just change it add paragraphs, delete sections. It's not a chat output that just disappears into the void. It's a living document where you're collaborating on it with the AI. Second, editing is effortless. You can select any text within your document and have the AI rewrite it. This feature is actually addicting and it's so powerful, guys, and fast. I love it. Third, you can choose between multiple AI models, right? Claude is better for conversational writing. ChatGPT is better for structure and analysis. That flexibility is huge when you're actually creating something. Now, fourth, when you save a YouTube video or podcast, YouTube transcribes it and you can isolate specific moments with this pick button. Fifth, the Chrome extension. Most importantly, you can capture content while you browse. You don't have to download files and upload them to a separate tool. If you're reading something useful, you can save it. All right, enough talking about it. I'm gonna actually show you how to use it now, okay? Okay, so first I'm going to create a complete AI news newsletter from scratch, okay? Here's how it works. I'll start by collecting materials. I'm going to browse some AI news sites. I'll look at whatever's relevant this week and just pull it all in. When I find anything I want to save, I just click the extension and save it to my AI newsletter board. Now, when I save a YouTube video, click the extension, but this time Umind is transcribing the entire video automatically and it does a summary as well. So I can search through it, click on key moments, and it takes me right 
to them. That's so much faster than watching the entire thing. And also this extension just looks so good. I love it. I'm going to collect maybe six to eight sources here. Everything goes straight to my board and I'm doing this while I browse. No downloading, no copying and pasting text or links, no friction. All of my sources are here in this sidebar. I can see them, I can click into any of them. YouTube videos and tweets are handled flawlessly. Now I'm going to use the AI to actually create the newsletter. Umind has this feature called shortcuts, basically preset prompts for common tasks. I have one called create newsletter that tells the AI to analyze all my sources and then generate a structured newsletter with headline news, tool releases, and everything else in my style. This way I get consistent results across the boards I use. And now, like I mentioned, I can switch between AI models mid-creation. Let's say I want to be more conversational in my writing style. Personally for that, I prefer using Claude. I just toggle the model, ask it to rewrite everything using another preset prompt that's been tailored to my style. And if I need images, I haven't even covered this yet, I can just use Nano Banana to create my newsletter header. It's probably the best model available for this right now, and it's built in. I describe what I want, it generates the header, and I drop it right into the newsletter. It's a complete professional newsletter, research, writing, images, formatting, all in one place, no copying and pasting, no losing context. Every source is still linked in the sidebar if I need to fact check something, and the whole process took just a few minutes. And also, just because it's cool, you can also change the style of the document as well. You can customize it to your preference. Okay, that's a relatively simple project. Let me show you something that's a bit more complex. Let's say I'm creating a video script about the recent release of Google's new Gemini 3 model, but I'm going to have AI collect the sources for me. The agent's going to go out and find everything for me and build the board on its own. Watch this. I tell you mind what I need, find the best sources about the recent release of Google's Gemini 3 model, and then the AI actually searches for relevant sources and saves them automatically to my board, similar to what you would find in Notebook LM. Now watch how fast I can go from research to finished script. I ask the AI to analyze all the sources at once and generate a comprehensive outline using a preset prompt again that I've created for myself. It pulls key details from everything I've saved and it organizes everything into a logical script outline. So I've got sections here for everything that I need, all pulled from the real sources that are sitting in my sidebar. And thanks to my prompt, they've been organized in a way that should keep the viewer interested. Now for YouTube, retention is everything, right? So a generic script just isn't going to work. For YouTube scripts, I'm going to switch to Claude again because after testing this a lot, it writes in a style I prefer the most. Now I'm going to have it use the outline to generate the script, pull from the sources for the content, and then write in my style because of the prompt I used. Now let's look at the results. This is the kind of refinement that normally takes multiple rounds of editing, and now we can change a few parts that we don't like just by highlighting sections and requesting changes. For YouTube, we also need a thumbnail and Umind does take care of that as well, right? I personally spend a lot of time creating thumbnails in Figma, but maybe you don't have any design experience. So this can just handle it for you, right? For me, it can give me inspiration for my own designs in just a few clicks, which is also really powerful. So to do this, I just go into create image, select a nano banana again, and use the landscape dimension to create the thumbnail. For this example, we'll just do it in a Pixar style. And then we just wait a sec and look perfect. I can add it to the doc if I like, and I can export it for use on YouTube as well. And now here's the best part. I can export this as a clean script for my teleprompter. And maybe if I want to share the script with a client, I can do that as well within Umind. Everything I need to actually produce this video right here in one app. Now these were obviously just examples, but imagine how powerful this is when you really take the time to curate sources and everything else, right? You're going to get absolutely amazing results. So that's Umind. If you create content, write newsletters, make videos or do research, this is worth trying, I promise. There's a link to it in the description. They have a free plan if you want to test it out for yourself. This is one of my new favorite tools that is really helping me become a more productive creator and entrepreneur. I've made some other videos about AI tools that you might like if you enjoyed this video, so check those out. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. I will see you in the next one.